YouTube land. What's up? It's your girl here, Makar from Cougar's Closet. So listen, y'all. I'm really falling apart. I'm really tired, y'all. So I, I hope I be making this stuff look good because, y'all, it, it's really on the flow. Oh, God. Y'all don't understand how tired I am. It's like everything I think I'm getting done, I'm not. It's like I'm going around in a vicious circle. Then I'm adding to the mess. Then I'm trying to take away from the mess. Then later on, I'm back adding to the mess again. Yeah, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. So, another day in the life of hell of my car. That's all I could think of. The cougar. The cougar. I don't know. She, the cougar lives to see another day, I guess. I hope I be making it look good, y'all. I really do. I hope y'all be impressed. Oh, God. I'm about to fall to pieces. So, anywho, getting to what I came out here for, right? So, I just had to had a thought cross my mind, right? So, y'all know I'm always on here talking about, like, um, when well, when I get into my politics side, right? I'm always talking about the laws and how they need to reconstruct the laws and who they pertain to and who they don't pertain to and yada yada this and yada yada that, right? Well, so today I'm always at work talking to myself because like this quote I saw on Facebook, it said, yeah, I talk to myself when I need advice from an expert. So whenever I need advice from an expert, I talk to myself. Yes. Full conversation. And so... Something came up and was like, okay, you always talk about how they need to reconstruct the laws and reconstruct, reconstruct this. Uh, you need to figure out how to reconstruct relationships. Yeah. That hit me like a ton of bricks. So it's like, okay, yeah, that sounds good. So what I came up with is this, let me get my hair, y'all, because I be falling in love and forget I'm even on camera, taking myself away. Well, what I came up with, y'all, is this. Relationships, they need to be reconstructed as well. And the reason why I say that, because uh, relationships, they are old. The, the, the tradition of them, uh, the belief of them, all of this stuff with relationships, it's like, I don't know if I want to say they're overrated or if I just want to say what I'm saying right now, they need to be reconstructed. So tonight here on Cougar's Closet, I am going to uh, tear down the old walls of relationships because they out of style. And, and, and so, um, we need new type of, um, uh, relationships. So tonight I'm going to be reconstructing relationships and take setting, getting the, taking the old relationship model and throw it away because it's done for. It's just like the laws in the white house need to be rewritten. Okay. So let's get into this thing. So like. With most relationships that I have ran into or others that I know of have ran into or even just heard, you know, in conversation with other women talking amongst other women. It's like women lose their identities uh, when they get into a man. And I am... uh guilty of this myself in the past losing my identity uh to a guy when he didn't lose his to mine to me the only time he lost his identity um to me is like when he was in the house for the night or something or if he was in the house but like after that he took his identity on, and my identity got wrapped into him, which led me, like, uh, not having any hobbies, not doing 
anything that I wanted to do, you know. And over time, I found out that didn't gel with me. Like, and I found that out by getting deeper into myself because I had been getting rejected so much. So I was, one day something just hit me like, and I mean, maybe like 20 years ago hit me like, if you would take that energy that you have, that you put into a man and put it to yourself, you would be a bad mama jam. And so, because my, my inner my inner being speaks to me all the time. We have conversations. Yeah. You ain't going to live up in my uh, temple and, and domain and I don't know you here. So me and my inner being, we talk all the time. And that's what she said. She said, if you take that energy, that kindness, that lovingness, that sweetness uh, that you put into a man and turn around and put into yourself, You'd be a bad mama jam. So that's what I started doing. And so now it seems like that's since that's what I'm doing, I'm getting interrupted by people I don't want to be bothered with. If I meet somebody, I'm hoping to meet someone new. Someone who's never done anything to me before. But that don't mean they can't. But... I'm just hoping to find someone that has it and doesn't have the willpower to cross me, you know. So back to what I was saying about reconstructing these uh, relationships, that was part of it. So so we uh, need to start um, reconstructing these relationships to the point where, you know, uh, this is him and this is you. He keeps his identity. You keep your identity, and when y'all come together, y'all have your identity. Instead of you getting all wrapped up in him, and he's not getting wrapped into you. Or or, or uh, he getting wrapped into her, and she ain't getting wrapped into him. How about it? Let's make the party for everybody. So, that's one thing uh, that needs to uh, be reconstruct there it, with these... Uh, relationships if we're going to be a boyfriend and girlfriend if we're going to be husband and wife if we're going to be long term whatever we're going to be people need to have their own individuality it is very important not to take your identity and wrap it up into her or to him no nope. you, you your identity is not only your identity your identity is also a venting outlet where you go to blow the smoke off from everyday life. Whether people want to admit it or not, you still got to vent from being a husband. You still have to vent from being a wife, a dad, an uncle. You still got to have somewhere you can run off sometime if it ain't nothing for about an hour or two to dodge that life. And then turn around and go back and step back in it. So, that's one of my reconstructions that I'm including in my new packet. And this is your packet as well if you'd like to use it. Out with the old and in with the new. Because we still stuck on relationships and how they were built. How granddaddy and grandmama used to do it. That ain't what's going on today. Wake up call. The cougar has gotten loose. Okay, so that. That the the individuality that's one. Okay, the second thing uh, that needs to come down is how uh, you treat uh, your partner. Um, how you seem to think that your partner is uh, under the bottom of your feet and not walking beside you. How somehow uh, you seem to think that you and your partner are equal you seem to think you are superior to your partner um we need to reconstruct in this packet here how you know whoever 
we a couple, but every time you get on the phone or you get around your friends, you want to show out and show out is on me. You know, tr doing anything, trying to impress everybody but who you're supposed to be impressing. That that that's part of the the packet as well, and well, it was it was something else that was very very important that I had that was part of the packet. I'd have lost my train of thought here. Oh, and another part of the packet needs to be this with this reconstructing. If I meet you and we are together and we are dating and um, I got my man and I'm happy and I, I, I decide I want to go ahead and get serious and settle down and go ahead and make the butter lock and you ask me to marry you and I do that or uh, yeah let's keep that scenario you ask me to marry you and I do that and then I find out you know, three or four months later down the line that uh, I don't have who I thought I had. And life just killed my dream. And you're not who you said you were. And now you got all these other weird, bizarre sides to you um, that I knew nothing about. We need to be getting down to the courthouse. I don't care if it's three months, if it's six months. Now, I understand that problems do arise, but those are natural problems. People have problems. Oh, yes, they do. But all this other stuff, you making some problems, ain't no problems going on, and, and you decide you want to start cussing me. I'm calling me all kind of bitches and doing this and that. And then you decide you want to start getting hands on, or you decide you want to start following me around and telling me what I'm going to be doing. Listen. I am grown just like you are. And as long as I ain't doing nothing to disrespect us, disrespect you, disrespect me, embarrass us, embarrass you, embarrass me, listen. I'm just as grown as you is. I don't need no re-raising. Now, don't get me wrong. I like father figure men. Yes, I do. But I like the type of father figure men that got love involved in the situation. And not doing no dirty black ball and stuff just because. You know. So so that's uh, what I want to include in my packet. And I forgot what I just included in there. I can't remember. But th those are some of the uh, that w the walls that needs to come down, and, and, and you know, um, if people, men or women, haven't done their shadow work, or don't intend to do it, or is doing it, or whatever the deal is. Stay away from people until you get to a point where um, it's safe to bring someone into your zone. Because you are, whether you know it or not, responsible uh, for that person's safety. So, therefore, if you go out... And you pretend like you this other person then behind closed doors somebody finds out that you're not that. Then, you know, it's just, I don't, I don't know, like, no one has to deal with you at this point because you lied about who you were. And people aren't getting uh, what they thought they were getting and who they thought they were getting. Uh, you do, you did this to hook somebody. And, and y'all, I'm the type of person to take my my vows for better or worse. But if I married a man and that happens to me, I am going to get a divorce. I don't care. I'm not walking around in misery and embarrassment because I just married you six months ago and I'm just finna get a six month divorce from you. It all go together. Put put both times together and make a year. 
nope, you're not fin to be doing uh, whatever you want to do to me. A another thing that goes in my packet, right, and this is about this equalism, right, I noticed that every time um, people come together, boyfriend or girlfriend or husband and wife, whatever they're going to be, somebody always has to establish who's going to be the weakest and who's going to be the strongest, who's going to be running it and who ain't and all of this crap. And then it's, it, I noticed this. The person that comes in that's talking about uh, who who going to be what and get some established or whatever, a lot of times, you know, they real um, verbal abusive. You know why? Because uh, they're swapping your energy out. Uh, that's why they're establishing who's going to be the strongest and who's the weakest because when two couples come together, that ain't even up for discussion. We already know. We already can see. We already know who playing what role. Ain't nobody got to get nothing established. Now, if the woman uh, seems to be confused a little bit, and that's only because no man has been around, so she's had to step up and be the man to survive, um, then maybe you want to run the thing to her uh, through there about a little submission, you know. But as far as anybody just wanting you uh, to wrap your identity in theirs and forget about your own, you're not with the right person. You're not with the right person. What type of man or what type of woman that's supposed to be with they everything, they boo, they wife, they happy, whatever, is plotting and planning for the downfall or, or have, uh, evokes feelings of jealousy? Like, we only... Uh, in individuals because you have made us individuals at this point we was already external individuals which we need to be but then you make us inside individuals we didn't need double side swords but hey you brought them to the table so I just think you know um there should be something to where people should have some type of shame or guilt about uh, what they are introducing other people to, what problems they are loading uh, onto other people when they don't get themselves together. Why would any man or woman have to deal with someone like you that need to be taught and need to be trained. Why would they waste that time when they can go find somebody that's already trained? That's already together. Why would anybody have to waste their time on trying to see uh, something good in you? When you don't see something good in yourself. See, that's where I kept getting hung up at. Potential. I always see potential in somebody that somebody doesn't see in their self. And so I always try to get with somebody because I see the potential. And I've always ignored the red flags. It has cost me. Till today, in front of you on the screen cost me. When people show up that's, that's ready and for real, they already got the potential. I'm just saying, y'all, and I have done it before, so I'm include me in it. It is a shame what we will do for a man. It's a shame with some women 
uh, do to a man when he trying to do something right for him. Then it messes up chances for me and you when we trying to come through. Real women come through the door. We can't get through the door. Because this bimbo done done some back street, back alley cat shit, you know. Some of the men can't get through the door either from what other men did to other women. Can't nobody get through the door, can they? But see, I am working on that because whenever I meet whoever, I don't want to drag that into my new relationship. And I do eventually want a relationship, but I don't want to drag it. Nope. Like, give somebody that much power over me for what? Attacking me because they didn't know who they was. Trying to steal my energy. I'm, I'm watching you when you try to swap me energies out before you go out the door. Like, these uh, relationships, these they need to come down. Hell, I didn't even notice where they starting to bring up old stuff my granddad did. Bringing women in the house while the wife in the house and open up the door and tell you, you you dare her not to come out the room. And all of this crap. Some of these, uh, this stuff started to circle around. I had a couple of girlfriends. That old time and granddaddy shit happened to them. They in the room and granddaddy bust open the room tell them, he got company, you better not. Knock on that door, open that door. I done heard about it. With women my age, this stuff starts start, starting back to circle it around, Jack. But I tell you what. Bring it to me. Come on with it. All this mess. There ain't nobody agreeing to. Come on. Look at my fingers. Bring it here. Because some stuff, I'm not going to be putting up with. Nope. If, if we the Joneses and the Browns and the Parkers, damn it, I want to act like the Joneses and the Parkers. I, I, I don't want all this mess about when I go to work, my next door neighbor hopping, coming through my fence, getting in my bed and all this mess. See, I don't, I don't want none of that mess. I don't want you coming home and I'm butt naked grabbing the sheets, throwing them over me with this man laying in the bed. Tell me, so baby, please let me explain. I don't, I don't, I don't want to live like that. I don't want to find out you've been screwing my sister over 10 years. I don't want to live my life like that. I don't want to get taken to the nut home because I walked in the room and found you sleeping with my twin sister. And y'all then ran off into the sunset. I don't want to live my life like that. So that's why I stay in this house and stay by myself because I ain't found nobody worth value yet. That's about why I'm single. And on the other flip side of it, don't nobody want my ass either. So we got two things going here. Yep. Tell the truth, shame, devil. Yep. But I'm all right either way it go. I'm just saying. Certain people don't even, hey, listen. I talk to you in a day and I don't like you. Your ass can get blocked that same day. I don't care. This is what your manhood, your brotherhood has done for me. So, I don't know. I just feel like the way relationships are today, they need to change too. You're sitting up here thinking a woman um, ain't got just as much as leeway as you. And the thing is, the woman knows that you are the man. She already knows that. You know she knows that. Why can't you be that man that let her uh, live her life? And, and and you just be on the back burner when, when you need to arise, you arise. You know, she's going to come to you because she can't figure certain things out that you know. 
Unless you're married to me, I'll figure them out. I'm just saying. But some of these people are starting to do too much. They asking for too much now. Hell, they was wanting your money and your car. They still want that. And a place to stay in food. They still want that. And sex. They still want that. But now it's getting to the point where they want your soul. They want you to confess out the tongue of your mouth the day to God. Y'all better be watching what I'm watching. Folks want you worshiping them. I'll be damned. Yeah, well. Well, y'all, I talked your heads off. Uh, I guess I'll tend back to this crap I've been running from, or I might just go ahead and take me a hot bath like I'm going to do and find me something to even call the quiz. I did do a few things. I mean, what does this world want from me? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? So, uh, this this wraps up my cougar segment. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm so tired. Oh, and I do tend to get scattered brain. And I forget what I'm saying a lot, too. Because I be having so much stuff in my head. And stuff be charging me. Plus stuff I'm trying to do. So, yep. I might be back on tomorrow. I keep on saying I ain't coming back. Like, give myself a couple of days, but then I get addicted. Or when I need to run away from something, I get on here. Yep. But then when I get done and go back in there, it's still waiting on me. So. Cougars. Ooh, I had to burp, y'all. Close it.